been through a few hurricanes, a few nor'easters, high flooding, no flooding that was comparable to this. Some where I think the winds may have been more damaging in the past, not anything where we're on the precipice of what that could have been. So there was definitely some levels of, okay, what, what am I getting into? There was at least a 30 minute, it may have been even a 60 minute window where that storm was tracking due east at us. And that, I, I mean, I, that's when I know I was definitely um, second guessing. Chris Clark has taken pictures for the Coastal Point newspaper for four years. Last October, he hunkered down in Fenwick to document one of the worst storms Delaware's ever seen. Monday evening, probably around 7, 8 o'clock is when the tide started pushing in, and that's when the severity of the storm really started to dawn on anybody that was sticking around or that hadn't evacuated. And you could literally watch the water just creeping up this street right here. The water was washing very roughly and rapidly. And the swell current, when you looked out here, it looked like the ocean. It, it, was, it was brutal. It was pretty much a 24 hour thing, but once I took that high water mark at 2.30 a.m. of the Warren Station sign, it was at that point I thought, okay, I've uploaded what I can. People are aware of what's going on. It's dark. Let me grab a couple hours of shut eye until the sun's getting close to rise and I can actually do more. And then I'll just get back out there and roll with it and have fun. I hate to say have fun because I don't want to give the yeah, wrong yeah, notion to right. people, but in, in our job, that's part of the adrenaline rush. Once the sun was up, Clark waded through the floodwaters to take this picture of a father and son headed to higher ground. It is heart-wrenching. The, the nice thing about it is you've got, the, you've got some cool colors from the top of the fire hydrant, leads you right into the father and the son. It almost shows a little bit of a struggle with the elements. It gives a good perspective. And there have been a lot of people right around here that have ordered photos online from the paper just because it, it's something that they don't see. And I think probably one of the greatest things was what happened with our viewership on Facebook. And we went from like 3,000 followers to like 30 or 40,000 followers like, like that. So many people just reached out and said thank you. We just wanted a little bit of reassurance. Would I stay again? Would I stay if, if I knew Sandy was happening? Yes, I, I would not encourage anybody else to stay and I would be at the police department if they were still staying in town. Um, but that's, it's my job, it's what I love doing.